the height of a projectile is given by this formula in terms of t, where t is time in seconds, I suppose. At what time will the projectile reach a height of 48 feet? Okay, so the height, let's just rewrite the formula, h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 64 t. All right, so the formula here is given, and they want to find out t when h of t is uh, 48 feet. So certainly the 48, we're going to plug that in for um, h of t. So in other words, when is the height 48 feet? So here's the setup. Now looking at this, notice to solve this equation, it's quadratic, we're going to have to get it equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that, subtract 48 on both sides. All right, so we'll then have zero equals negative 16 uh, t squared plus 64 t minus 48. Now I'm going to try to factor this, but it's going to be very hard to factor. Um, number one, with the leading coefficients negative, and also I notice um, there's a GCF. So let's go ahead and factor out that GCF. In fact, let's factor out negative 16. Factoring out negative 16, I'll be left with t squared minus, remember when you factor a negative out of a positive, it becomes negative. So minus uh, 4t plus, you know, factoring out a negative 16 out of 48, you'll be left with 3. Now to double check that, what you can do is mentally multiply the 16 back in. So negative 16 times t squared is negative 16t squared. Negative 16 times negative 4 is plus 64t. And then negative uh, 16 times positive 3 is negative 48. Okay, so, it's, so it is factored correctly. Let's continue. So now the numbers are smaller, we can factor that quadratic. t squared breaks up as t times t. Uh, 3 is prime, so 1 times 3. 1 and 3 add up to negative 4 if they're both negative. Okay, and then a negative 1 times a negative 3 is positive 3. So it's factored correctly. Now let's set each variable factor equal to 0. So t minus 1 equals 0, or t minus 3 equals 0. So this tells me I'm going to reach 48 feet when t equals 1 second, and also at the time 3 seconds. Okay, so there's going to be two times where uh, the height of the projectile reaches 48 feet, and that kind of makes sense. Think of the projectile, as it goes up, it's going to come back down. So it's going to take some time to reach 48 feet. You know, it's going to take one second to get there, and then on the way back down, some time later, at three seconds, it's going to reach 48 feet. Okay, so the solution set here does make sense to have two answers, um, one second and three seconds. Okay, so the projectile reaches 48 feet at time equals one second and three seconds.